Wastewater management was, was an unknown unknown for us. We didn't even know it was something that we were going to have to deal with. There's a, a lot of people who get into the industry thinking a lot about beer and not necessarily about the, the management of some of the other inputs and outputs that come along with that. We had our beer making process very well mapped out when we first started. And we even had plans to deal with, with certain types of waste. And we just didn't even think about what happened when the outputs of the process ended up down the drain and going someplace else. It was just away. Baysville has a very small wastewater management plant or a water and sewer treatment plant. And the perspective at the time, both from, from our end and from the municipality's end, was that some added volume would be welcome. Little did we know that uh, connecting a brewery of this size into a water and sewer treatment system servicing a town of 350 people was going to produce some problems pretty quickly. Within a couple of months of starting to operate, we had caused some really serious issues at the wastewater plant up the road. That was when wastewater came onto the radar and it hasn't really left since. One of the big changes that we had to bring about in terms of our operations was to really do an audit of all of our processes in the brewery and look at what materials could continue to go down the drain versus what materials were too heavily compromised essentially and would have to be side streamed or, or held aside and, and dealt with differently. I mean, it even gets down to here in our retail store. We actually side stream the beer spillage off of our growler filler and sample bar here. Even the few tens of liters of foam and spillage that you might get out of the store on a, on a busy Saturday is enough to require tens of thousands of liters of other dilution in order to bring us back in line with the bylaw. We started seeing results immediately. We saw the BOD come down, we saw the solids come down and the phosphorus drop. We saw the pH get somewhat better, but that took some time and some more work in order to really get under control. The scale of, of the investment and the installation that we had to do here, it's the sort of thing that if we just planned it in as part of the startup process, it could have been handled very easily. But coming in after the fact, when you've already kind of got your business plan and this wasn't in it, it just multiplied the, the, the complication and, and hassle involved in it. Based on the way things were going previously, we weren't going to be able to continue growing because there wasn't any more capacity to handle wastewater out of this facility. Now with the, the significant reductions in strength we've been able to achieve, uh, we've got a lot more runway to grow here.